In this program, I'm going to show you the very, very basic A scale of how to use A scale, but it's going to be very basic. I'm going to set up my add a query with my data source and my DB grid, and then I'm just going to display all the fields inside my database, and then I'm only going to select maybe one or two fields inside this database. Okay, the database I'm using is MDB database is the CD database and I'm gonna save my program quickly because I want to save it in the same folder as my database folder name is SQL and I'm gonna run it quickly Okay, so I'm going to copy this, or rather I'm going to cut this CD database and I'm going to put it in the same location as my project dot, oh, project1.exe file. Okay, and then I'm going to add my other query. Then my data source. Then my DB grid. So my DB grid will be the output or will display the content of my CD table. I'm gonna connect my other query with my CD database. It's an MDB database, so I'm going to use the Microsoft Jet 4 Oli DB provider. And I can luckily just browse for my database file. This connection succeeded. Then I can go to data source. I'm going to set it to adequate one. I'm going to select my DB grid. I'm going to change that data source to data source one. Okay, in the normal added table, we have a table name property. But with the added query, we don't have a table name. We have an a SQL property. So inside this SQL, that is where I'm going to enter my SQL statement. So I'm going to say select star from my CD table. Okay, star means I'm going to select all my fields, I want to display all my fields, and I want to display it from the CD table. And I'm going to go up to the active property, and I'm going to make it active. Okay, Microsoft J Jet Database Engine cannot find the input table or query CD, make sure it exists. Okay, so now I must make sure that the table name I'm using in this database that it's actually CD okay so it's not CD it's CD underscore table so now I must specify CD underscore table okay, so I'm going to go back to my SQL property and I'm going to change it to CD underscore table and then it will display the content of my database if I go back to my CD table over here if I only want to display the artist and the CD name I must make sure about the spelling CD underscore name and artist I'm going to replace the star with artist, comma, and then your CD underscore name. Okay, so it will automatically make the active property false again every time you change your 
a content inside your SKL property. So if you're done changing, you just need to go and make it active again. CD underscore name and author. So it looks correct. So let's go back up with my add a query. Make it active and it will only display the artist and the CD name inside my DB grid. Okay, but you don't always want to display everything when your program is going to run. Sometimes you want to click on a button or something and then display the content inside the, bit, the DB grid. For example, display artist. And uh, when I click on this button, I want to display only the CD name. Okay, right, so when I click on this one, I only want to display the artist. When I click on this one, I only want to display the CD name inside. So I'm going to go to my Add a Query. And I'm going to remove this SQL in here. Because I'm going to put it under the button now. When I click on Display Artist, I want to change the content inside Add a Query 1.SQL text okay so you can use the add a query dot sql dot text like i'm using here or you can actually say add a query one dot sql dot add and it will add that line of coding for you to your sql property so it works quite similar to the reach edit component we can either just add one line to your reach edit or you can overwrite a whole sql property by using the text come on i'm going to use the text so the text property is a string so i'm going to put it in single quotation marks and i'm going to say select artist because i only want to display the artist field from the CD table. Okay. Save, let's run it. So we can test the artist one first. Okay, it's not working. Remember when we change the SQL property the active property will automatically go to false. So if I want to display the content, I need to enable the add a query active property. So add a query one dot active equals to true. Let's try it again. Okay, so now it's only displaying the artist field. All the records for that artist or for the artist field. So I'm going to copy and paste this now. Control C. I'm going to go to the button display CD name. And I'm just going to display this, change this field over here. CD underscore name from the CD table. I'm going to change the SQL for text so that it will only select the CD name from the CD table. And then I'm going to make the active property true again. Okay, CD name. And when I click on artist, it will uh, display the artist field. 